Today we're going to be using reinforced body filler to fix a rust hole that if left untreated could get a lot worse. And we're also going to be treating the backside to prevent future rust. The first step is to grind the area clean and I'll be using 36 grit on an electric grinder. I did sandblast this area and that was in a previous video. The next step is to knock this area down a little bit in order to have a nice firm layer of reinforced filler. And I'm going to knock it down so that I have at least 3 eighths of an inch or more of filler. And that should be good. We'll have a nice, firm, strong layer of reinforced body filler. Next, we'll mix up the filler. So a little bit of hardener. And we'll just mix that in there real nice. And you just keep spreading it out thin like that to eliminate the air bubbles. Getting close. Oh, I had a little bit of hardener on the back of the spreader. Mixer in there. All right, that should be good. And that's good. Let me set up the camera and I'll show you how to spread it. And now we're just going to spread a nice layer right over that. And this is a little bit more <clears throat> difficult to spread than regular filler because of the strands of fiberglass. So you're just going to do your best here. It's real, real stringy. And then you can put regular filler right over the top of this to fix up any spots that aren't, that aren't right. And we're going to leave it just like that. We're going to let it harden. I'll come back and cheese grade the excess off. To make this job a little easier, you'll want to cheese grade the excess off before this stuff completely hardens. Because once it's hard, it's hard as a brick and it's hard to sand. So we're just going to cheese grade some excess off and then we're going to sand it with some 36 grit on a hand block. So we're just going to take this cheese grater and just, just cheese, lightly cheese grade some of the excess off so that it's not so hard to sand. Once this hardens, you are not sanding this with, with 80 grit or nothing like that. You're going to want to be hitting it with 40 or 36 grit.
and I think that's good with the cheese grater. Now we're going to hit it with some nice fresh 40 grit on a rubber block. And like I said, this stuff hardens up like a brick. And already I'm working hard, and I, I hardly have anything to sand. So it's a good idea to cheese grade some of the excess off before you use this block. And that's good. I have a few little pits that I'm going to mix up some regular body filler and fill those in a little low spot right here that I have to fill. Once I get those filled, I'll be back. After spreading a nice thin layer of regular filler over the top to fill in any pits and any low spots, I cheese grated it and we're just going to finish it up with some fresh 40 grit and a little bit of 80 grit. DA sand the area and then prime. And now we're going to throw a little bit of 80 grit on the block to make it nice and smooth. Now we'll just DA feather edge the paint around the area.
And now I'll just give it a light shot of some primer so you can see the finished panel. So that's it for the front side. Let me show you what I'm going to do to seal the back side. In order to treat the back side of this fender or this repair, I cut a hole in it with this tool right here. It's just a hole saw for metal. And you can see on the inside, there is no rust on the inside. So we're just going to make sure that it's coated. I just have some undercoating here. And that's why I cut this hole. I want to be able to see and make sure that I get it back in there. Oh. And that looks pretty good. Looks like I got the whole area covered on the back side there. So I'm going to leave that just like that because it sort of seals those edges. So I hope you enjoyed this video on fixing a small rust hole with Bondo glass, Duraglass, kitty hair, or some type of fiberglass reinforced filler. And if you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.